Hello there. In this video, we'll see how you can manage your leads more effectively on listens. On your leads, whether added via forms, bulk upload, or individually, will appear in one of the sales pipelines you have created. In case you want to view leads in a particular pipeline, just go to View Lead. Here, you will get a complete overview of all your leads and all the information you have about them. To search for a particular lead, go to the search bar or use the filters to sort out the leads you are looking for. You can click on any of the leads to expand their details and track your interactions with them. In the customer details section, you will have the basic contact information of the lead, such as person of contact, the organization, email address and phone number. Any additional details of the lead added to our custom fields on lead capture forms will appear here. For example, this lead was added by a reference lead capture form where I collected additional information such as the company you are in and the photography services required by them. Now let's understand how to connect with leads and track those interactions. Firstly, if you have more than one member in your sales team, the first thing you should do is to add them on reference and then assign the lead to the concerned salesperson. The salesperson can then connect with the lead either by email or WhatsApp directly from here. In case you're sending an email, you can also add others in CC. Then, you can just select the reason of emailing and the system will automatically provide you with a template. You can either edit this template or send it as it is. This will help you save a lot of time as you won't have to write the email from scratch again and again. Depending on your interaction with the lead, you can change the lead stage to contact it, proposal sent, deal done, etc. You can also add reasons for why that stage was selected. For example, in this case, I might note that the lead was contacted and is scheduled for a follow-up later. Adding this helps you get a better context of deal activity. You are free to edit these reasons or add more if required. And to ensure that you never miss an important follow-up, you can set up a follow-up dating time and the reference will remind you wherever the follow-up is due. You can also add labels such as warm lead, cold lead, qualified lead, etc. to better understand which lead requires your attention. Let's label this one hot. If you have a lead's estimated budget, you can add it here. Adding a lead source also helps you understand which channels are performing better. Internal notes are a great way to record additional information regarding the deal activity and keep your team members in the loop about the same. Activity history, on the other hand, helps you keep an audit trail of changes made by the team members in lead stages, follow-up dates, etc. One of the great things about reference is that the lead management suite is fully integrated with the accounting suite by default. This means, in case you want to send a quotation, perform an invoice or an invoice, you can do it with a single click from here. For example, if I click on create quotation, reference will automatically create a quotation with all the necessary information. You can edit it from here if required and then quickly share it via email, WhatsApp, or the link. Or, you can download it as a PDF and take a print out with one click. Any quotations, invoices, and other documents you share with leads will also appear at the bottom of your lead page. So basically, you can keep track of all your lead activity end-to-end -end in one place. Now that we know all the things required to get you started, Let's go back to the main dashboard to show you some quick shortcuts. The dashboard basically gives you a bird's eye view of all your leads and lead interactions. As you can see, you can sort leads by the stage, budget, follow-up dates, and more. You can also track your team's first response time, internal notes, etc. In case you want to move a lead to a different pipeline or just want to make some edits, you can do it from the more icon. Also, if you want to make changes in multiple leads at once, you can just select the leads and click Bulk Actions. You can make bulk changes in lead stage, assignee, budget, etc. Also, you can download the selected leads in a CSV file. That's it for this video. 
If you want to know more about lead management on reference, check out our other videos in the description below.